now it's time for Open House, sponsored by Pyramid Heating and Cooling. I get so excited when new products come out on the marketplace that either make things easier and or safer in this does them both. I'm happy to have Ashley here from SkyX Platforms and the Skyplug. Welcome to Around the House Northwest. Yes, Eric, thank you so much for having me today. I am so excited. I'm here representing SkyX Platforms. And I'm just so excited to share a little bit about the Skyplug technology and how we are saving time, lives, and costs with our technology. Let's talk about the Skyplug because this is something that is just so innovative. How do we describe this to people? Okay, so at its core, the technology encompasses two devices that are working together as one to create a safer and simpler installation solution. So, you know, we're trying to revolutionize the ceiling installation process from the outdated traditional process to a safer and simpler plug-in method. So we have our Sky Outlet. This is what is now hardwired into your ceiling junction box. One time into the terminal points, you install each of the wires that into the color-coded terminal points. And now you have an outlet for ceiling installations. You're no longer having to go up on the ladder, twist the wire nuts, holding that heavy fixture, balancing, having someone help you. Now you have a receptacle in your ceiling junction box. And then you take your sky plug. This is now being attached to your existing light fixture or a brand new light fixture on the ground. You're no longer, like I said, having to hardwire that fixture while you're on the ladder. You're doing this on the ground, inserting the wires into the terminal points, walking up on the ladder and plugging it in in seconds. It's that easy. So our products are actually included in 10 segments of the National Electric Code Book. And they're given definitions, just like a GFCI. This is the WSCR, the Weight Supported Ceiling Receptacle. And this is the WSAF, Weight Supported Attachment Fitting. And we just applied for mandatory code. So we're really excited because, I mean, if you think about it and you put it into perspective, we're dealing with, it's 2024 and we're dealing with chat GPT, AI, self-driving cars that we're still hardwiring light fixtures. Um, so we are really trying to move into a more modern superior alternative which is our product the skyplug technology just install you know that it. is great i can't tell you how many times i'm up every time i put a light fixture up i'm up there i need three hands i need an extra arm because i'm trying to hold the light i'm trying to get the wire nets together and there's never space to put a second person up there to hold the light it's always this crazy standing on a ladder fumbling kind of thing yep. while you're trying to support the weight right. of the light and you guys have finally solved it and then made it smart on top of it. Yes, yep. So, I mean, if you think about it, it's a dangerous process. Just like you said, you're balancing a light fixture and dangerous wires that could potentially be live in that junction box. Um, and this outlet is safe to touch. So once you have this installed in your ceiling junction box and you have that cover plate on, it's safe to touch. And it is UL listed as well. So this is what the outlet looks like with that cover plate on. And then the Gen 2, the more upgraded version, which you see here in my living room, is the Skyplug Smart Base. This is now the same concept you have the Skyplug standard embedded into this smart module here. You're attaching this Skyplug Smart Base on the ground to your existing light fixture and you're transforming it into a smart fixture. So once this is installed onto your light fixture, you're going to walk up the ladder, you're going to plug it in, and it makes your fixture smart. So now you have full control on our Sky Home map. You're dimming, you're scheduling, you're turning it on and off from anywhere in the world. I actually have my Sky Home map here. So I'm gonna show you, nice. turn my light off really quick. You can dim it, schedule it, like I said, and it is voice assistant compatible with Alexa, Siri, Google Home, HomeKit. And you can also turn that ring light off if you didn't like it. Um, some people don't like it, but some people do. I like it because it creates a little bit of ambiance in my home, especially at night. I can have it on and it creates a very nice glow um, in my room and I can actually use it to walk through my rooms without having the lights on. That is really going to change how people look at lighting because you think about it, you have a plug and play option. So all of a sudden now you could go, you know, I'm having a party this weekend and I'm really going to be moving this over here and you could rearrange for the holidays and everything else and move the light fixtures around in minutes versus, okay, I'm gonna take a Saturday and do it. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that because for Christmas, I actually hung up a Christmas tree in my living room just because I wanted to. And you know, it's funny, Eric, I get the question all the time. I'm like, what's the point? You know, like, why are we doing this? Why are we switching out of light fixtures? Well, because in the past, we haven't been able to because we've always had to hardwire a light fixture. As a homeowner, 
how you don't want to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to have an electrician come in to update all of your lighting. Whereas now this product is great for DIYers, remodelers, renovators, builders. I mean, as a builder, you get your certificate of occupancy as long as all other requirements are met. Just with this installed, you no longer have to have your electrician hardwire those light fixtures in every single room to get your CO. You could just come in after the fact and pop them in. So, I mean, it's great for everyone, but just like you mentioned having, you know, different fixtures taken down or installed for holidays, it's just, you can get more creative with it and you can stay on trend with your lighting. Ah, uh, that is great. Ashley, thanks for coming on today. Where do people find these again? Because this is yeah. revolutionizing, revolutionizing lighting in your home. Yes, it is. So onestoplighting.com, you can find our retrofit kits on there as well. And like I mentioned, in July of this year, we will have about 300 SKUs of builder grade and really beautiful Kitchler fixtures integrated at factory level that you can just plug in. So onestoplighting.com. Man, I'm excited for July. Thanks for coming on today. This is going to be something great for everybody out there in their homes. Thanks, Eric. I appreciate it. I got the chance to install one of their sky plugs myself. Let's see it in action. All right, guys, I really wanted to try this sky plug myself. So I got the box opened right here. First off, they give us a couple different ways to hang these, whether I've got a hanging rod or a chain. Since we're not doing the rod today, I'm just gonna set that off to the side. So we have our ceiling piece right here, and then we have what connects to the light. That's what we're gonna start with today. We'll go up and put the ceiling piece on in a minute. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our lamp wires here. I'm not so worried about the chain at the moment. But what we're going to do is I'm going to slide this collar ring down first. Get that down there. Make sure I get that over both wires. And then I'm going to feed this wires up through the middle of this because that's where the hook for the hanging fixture is going to go. I can already tell you already this is so much nicer doing this down here than trying to do this up above. So uh, nice to have that extra set of hands, not trying to hold the fixture while you're doing it. All right, now that part's ready to hang. Now we get my ladder. Let's get this top piece hooked on here because we're gonna unsnap this, wire this up to the ceiling fixture. So that way we can get this light hung up. All right guys, so now we're gonna hook this outlet up here so we can snap the light up here in just a second. So we're just gonna wire this up. We're gonna start up with the ground right here. That slid into the proper one. And then there's this nice little Phillips screw on the side here to tighten that down. Get that nice and tight. Just, just have to fight it a little bit, depending on the wire sizes. There we go. Locked in. Next, I'm going to go ahead and get in our uh, neutral, which is right here. I like to get both sides started so it's in there equally, and that way we can just wing it up and get it screwed up into the box. All right, there we go. The next thing I'm gonna do is grab this light fixture, and let's snap it into place, turn the power back on, see how it does. Okay, that is positively snapped on there. The cover plate up here. There we go, let's turn the power on and see how she works. All right guys, my next step is to plug this into my home automation system so I can run it with my smart home system. This is an easy way to hang a light fixture. I know you can do